Hello everybody, in this JavaScript tutorial, I'm gonna show you a wait with promise prototype in the asynchronous function. A wait expression with the asynchronous function being executed into the promise until that is settled with resolve or rejected value and resume back again to the asynchronous function and continue execution other part of the function or write here javascript code script language java script script and a wait we will call a function suppose function one our return value suppose x and when a wait expression or declare we need asynchronous function asynchronous suppose that is function one we can make this function two this function two is with the promise prototype function function two here new promise so we need promise and it to return all I have with the promise settled resolve and rejected in with the resolve we will do some task here we can pass some data here Suppose data 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 is equal to data plus ten. This is value we are calling F two to test the poet we need set time out function function end and wait we did process with data and we'll do resolve Resolve data we got alert x. This is the wet expression with the promise prototype and that will be pause until getting the promise value as soon as the word gets the promise value that will resume again and will be executed other part of now we are gonna test
console unexpected id function unexpected identifier function I gonna call the function from the vector is not defined. We can define this with image. A lot we are getting after two seconds. Wait, call the promise with the set time out. We did delay error two seconds. After two seconds, we are getting our data. Console dot log. We can do a looping. Oh. For I come to zero. I less than ten I plus plus we can set as define value. We can pass your eye, then that will be easy to see. Ten, eleven, twelve. Data we are not getting immediately. That is being delayed with the format. If we do a five second, So the wait expression, wait for the promise, dissolve or rejected value, and the second function will pause. We will stop execution and the execution is started at the promise. When promise dissolve, that back the data to the wait and start execution the asynchronous function again. Thanks for watching this tutorial.